What's up, guys? It's Timmy Boxing, and I just finished up watching Canelo Alvarez versus Avenel Durham, which is a 12 rounder for the Unified WBC and WBA Super Middleweight World Championship. And this fight was Saturday, February 27th, from the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida. And this fight was broadcasted on DAZN. And in this fight, it really showed why Canelo Alvarez is the pound for pound number one fighter in the world on most people's lists, as he gets the dominant. Knockout victory over Avni Yildirim. I know that Yildirim is not like a Callum Smith or a Billy Joe Saunders or even a Triple G or Jamal Charlo or someone like that, but he is the WBC's mandatory challenger at the time, and still he was able to make easy work of the challengers below him. And he was able to drop Yildirim once in the third round before Yildirim's corner stopped the fight in between the third round going into the fourth. And Canelo, from start to finish, was just breaking Yildirim down. He was just landing some great body shots and following it up with some hooks to the head. And Yildirim was just all over the place and just getting hit left and right. And I think it was actually the right thing to stop the fight. Because what, you're going to let your man last some more rounds to get some more head damage? I mean, Canelo was just battering him through and through. And he was going to win that fight regardless, even if it would have gone an extra three or four rounds. But um, Canelo Alvarez is now recording his 55th victory, 37th by knockout. He hasn't really got an early knockout like this since fighting James Kirkland, getting that astounding knockout victory there. And I believe that was also in the third round. And now Canelo Alvarez also has a third round knockout win over Avni Yildirim, similar to Chris Eubank. But um, more into what is next for Canelo Alvarez, it has already been announced that Canelo Alvarez's next opponent will be Billy Joe Saunders for the Unified WBO, WBC, and WBA Super Middle World Championship on May 8th, which will be, I believe, Cinco de Mayo weekend. And Canelo Alvarez always fights on Cinco de Mayo weekend, so I could definitely expect that fight to be in Texas, if not in Florida, yet again at the Miami Stadium. Excuse me, the Hard Rock Stadium. But, um... Canelo Alvarez definitely brings in a huge fan base. He has so many people around the world that watch him. He's an inspiration to many, and I could definitely see him being undisputed by the end of this year. If he gets past Billy Joe Sanders, which I think he will, then takes on Kayla Plant in September, if not December, of 2021. And I think he wins both of those fights, nonetheless. I don't even need to say this... Um, leading up to the fight. I just think everybody knows that Canelo will likely be Billy Joe Sanders and Kayla Plant just because he's beat fighters way better than them previously. Even Callum Smith, in my opinion, is better than both Kayla Plant and Billy Joe Sanders individually. But um, what's next for Abney Yildirim? I know that Canelo Alvarez is going to be taking on Billy Joe Saunders, cause, so that's his opponent that's going to be next for him, as I said before. But um, Abney Yildirim getting his third taste of defeat in another world title opportunity, um, I'm honestly not too sure. I know he's a PBC fighter, but um, I can't really see him fighting for a major fight in the PBC stable. I know that Anthony Durrell just fought, but he already fought Durrell. And the David Benavides fight would just be useless. I don't really see why he would get another opportunity. Um, Yildirim would, because he's just coming off a brutal knockout loss like this. So I think that Yildirim will probably take a unknown fight in, let's say, Germany or his native uh, Turkey, and then he'll regroup and possibly get another opportunity against a decent fighter. But um, Canelo Alvarez getting the dominant knockout victory over Avni Yildirim as expected. I initially predicted this fight to last three or four rounds, which I would say is correct, but I'm not going to gloat around saying that I predicted it correctly because every single predictor or YouTube channel I've seen it was picking Canelo Alvarez to stop Adney Yildirim between the third or the fifth round. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm um, going to be boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.